I just got my Thunder 4s in the mail and I cannot wait to show you guys this shoe. So starting off with the box right here, as you can see, you have your modern day Air Jordan 4 box. You got the cement splatter all throughout. And then on the top of the lid, it has flight with the yellow Jumpman with the white text. And then on the front of the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 4 Retro Black White Tour Yellow size 13 just for me and retail on these is going to be 210 bucks and they're set to release may 13th now before we get into breaking down all the styles cuts and materials of the sneaker we got to talk about the history first so originally back in 2006 we saw the thunder and lightning pack release on the jumpman 23 website i remember this time vividly because this was when i was just starting to get serious about collecting sneakers and hearing all the mythical stories about the lightning and thunder pack and the m&m 2s and all the other releases that were set to drop on that website and the different things when it comes to the motorsport team that they had and the jordan 5s and a different series like that even though we didn't have as many drops as we do in current time with all the releases coming out each and every week there were definitely ones that stuck out like this that definitely made a huge stamp in the game so as you guys know i have my 2006 lightning force the box is really dusty and i ended up actually getting these about four or five years ago and adding them to my collection but as you can see you got the retro card right here and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe now these right here were such an iconic staple to a sneaker collection from then and still into this current time and again this is not a video about the lightnings but they definitely do play a factor to why so many people like the thunder fours as well so back in the day when these two shoes came out there was actually merch that came alongside with it this is one of the ogts from way back look at that 44 bucks on here you got the cardboard price tag right here definitely a premium shirt and it's way too big for me still to this day this is a 3x but i actually ended up getting that t-shirt when i got the thunder fours way way back in the day i wore them the paint started chipping they started falling apart next thing you know we saw the 2012 retro come out and i was like you know what it's time to get rid of my og thunders and still to this day i kind of feel like i should have never got rid of them but it's okay because we got this 2023 retro now so like i said also in 2012 we saw the next retro of the jordan 4 thunder and i was kind of disappointed by that retro simply because we were so much more used to that slimmer cut and that slimmer feel when it came to jordan 4s from basically what 2005 to like 2010 or something like that so during that time and era that was definitely the standard when it came to jordan 4 retro so i ended up having the 2012 pair which also came out around the same time around christmas when the bread 11s came out here's a picture i was able to find on my old computer of my thunder 4s and my bread 11s together and i actually still wear those 2012 bread 11s to this day but when it comes to the 2012 thunder 4 i ended up getting rid of those and using the money towards one of the houses i ended up purchasing which again was a good investment and now again Again, like I said, we're in current time and the 2023 retro is here. And I'm so excited to finally have this shoe back in my collection. So also last year or two years ago, something like that, we saw the red Thunder 4s. I grabbed those from my collection just because of the strength of like, it's a cool shoe. But then I started to realize like, I wasn't a big fan of the materials and how they put the shoe together. And I was really hoping they didn't do that same thing when it comes to these in particular, because it's damn near the same shoe, but different colors. So let's go ahead and take it to the studio and break down all the styles, cuts and materials of these new Thunder 4s. All right, here we go. Lifting up the lid right here. You got yellow on the back end of the lid. You got your cement print paper all throughout. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, so first impressions of this sneaker, they definitely did a way better job than the Red Thunder. But one thing that I do have a complaint about, the tongue rubbed on the toe box again. So the tongue on these shoes, it's not sharp, but it's pretty aggressive if you want to say the least. And when you put the shoes inside the box like this, and they're on their sides, what happens is the tongues touch the top of the shoes and you know, they're moving around, they're shaking around and rubbing and touching and everything like that. And then next thing you know, you have a line over the top of the toe box right here and right here on both of the sneakers. And it can get white or shiny or whatever it may be. But overall, you could still definitely see that line, especially when you put the shoe on and you're looking at that toe down perspective. Now this isn't the end of the world, but hopefully we can find a way to come up with a solution. Remember back in the day when they used to put the cardboard between the Air Jordan 15s and they kind of fit in the different slots? Maybe Jordan brands should start doing something like that again to help protect the sneakers. And I'm sure there's a whole nother side of the audience that probably doesn't even care and they just want to see more details details of the shoe so let's go ahead and start with the bottom and work our way up looking at the bottom right here you can see you have your classic air jordan 4 outsole all black yellow pods on the center and then the jump man right here on the back end and then going up to the side of the midsole you got your same color blocking as your og style all yellow right here on the front and back end black rubber around the toe and the side of the foot and then you have a white exposed air unit in the center of the heel right here now like i said with the upper i think they definitely did a very good job when it comes to these compared to the red thunders 
but I don't think these are the best Jordan 4s of all time or anything like that when it comes to materials, because trust me, we have seen some crazy suede, some crazy nice collaborations and different things like that. But overall, the shoe is definitely solid. Also, almost forgot to mention the suede on the Lightning 4s is better than the Thunders. That's just what I'm saying. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys get them in hand and you defer or whatever, I don't know. But I just feel like the Lightning's way better materials than the thunders now when it comes to the overall color blocking on the sneaker with the black and yellow areas the shoe looks pretty standard to that now one thing that might be a little bit different than the previous ones that we saw in the past you're gonna have a yellow line right here just behind the laces on both sides going down the center of the foot this is more similar to your og style and og cut and that's something they have been really strong with when it comes to jordan 4s over the past couple years giving us that nostalgic og cut with the slimmer toe the material folded back on the top end and the overall shape of the sneaker now a couple things that really pop when it comes to the thunder fours in particular you have a yellow mesh just behind the black rubber nets right here around the front end on the tongue and then on both sides on the left and right of the foot right here in the center of the foot another part that really pops the yellow flight branding on the center of the tongue with the white jump man that really sticks out well and then obviously your yellow behind the tongue and then i love the classic hit you got the air jordan branding behind the tongue upside down that's always been a fun little touch that i love to see when it comes to jordan fours now when it comes to the sock liner and the insole you got all black right here and then a white jump man on the center of the heel and then on the back end of the foot you have a black tab with the white jump man right here now I know a lot of people I've heard say, man, I wish they would have done Nike Air. But me personally, I think it's great that they did this because this is not an OG. Yeah, they came out a long time ago, but these ain't no OG. So I don't think we need to put the Nike Air on them. Yeah, that might look cool and all, but for me, I feel like it's cool to help distinguish the difference between different retros and different OGs and different styles and generations and things like that. So honestly, I'm still happy with the Jumpman on the back. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And speaking of that, I'm interested to see what my wife thinks about these. Let's ask her. I need you to rate these out of 10 and let me know what you think. All right. Are they cool? A little bumblebee on them? Um, no. Materials, solid. I mean, it looks good. They did a good job with it. I like these better than I like mine. These ones? Yeah. Because of the because Just the color. Probably, probably just the color. Okay. Mm. They took the time on this one. They didn't take the time on this one. I feel like these ones. I feel like they the rushed quality, it. quality, like on the new book, you can see like the line mm -hmm. and everything. Like these ones, and they look a little bit more faded on these ones too, right? But yeah, they definitely do. Um, like this like has they, like a richness to it. Yeah, those are a lot better. But I, is it like a, cause you know how sizing can kind of like change things nah, too? That's why I got rid of my pair. Oh. Mine looks like this too. And I was like, nah, they're all right. I'll get them back if I want them again. But I traded those for the Air Max. Oh. It was a good trade. Was yeah, good that's trade. a great trade. But yeah, so yeah. Out of 10? Yeah. I give these a 8.5. 8.5 out of 10, that's solid. Yeah, okay. that's super solid. So. These are called the Switch thunders. Off. Yeah. And these are called the lightnings. So, oh, thunder lightnings. <laughs> yeah. Which okay. one do you like more? This is a pack, but now it's not a pack. Now they came out separately. Uh, but thunder lightning pack. What do you think about the pack? Which one do you like more? Um, I like the yellow on this one a bit more. And I'm gonna go with this one. Thunders. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, this is this looks good too, but like if I were wearing them personally, I would go with, with this one. It's a lot easier to wear a black shoe. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, you got any other final remarks before we get out of here? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's finish up this video. <laughs> so she's definitely rocking with the Thunder 4s when it comes to the comparison between these two. Another thing that I didn't get to mention earlier, the boxes. I wish they definitely would have done the box like they did on the Lightnings, giving it that OG Jordan 4 box with the different, you know, aesthetic colors matching along with the sneaker. I get they've done this before. We've seen it on like Taupe Haze and other different retros and stuff like that when it comes to Jordan 4s. But... I feel like just because there's so much nostalgia, especially like putting the pack together type situation, I feel like it would have been dope to have the boxes matching with a different aesthetic of colors or something like that compared to two different types of boxes with the lid lift off compared to the hinge lid. Either way, 
it doesn't really matter i know i get it so <laughs> i want to see what you guys think if you guys haven't already make sure you guys follow me on instagram so you can participate on the polls but basically i ask the question all the time do you think this shoe is fire or trash and also if there's ever a comparison opportunity which one do you like more so this is what the people said 93 percent of the people chose this sneaker being fire and seven percent of the people said this shoe was trash i'm interested to see what you guys think if you didn't get a chance to vote and obviously yes i know the jordan 4 is popping and then yes everybody loves the thunder and lightning pack for the majority of people out there that have been collecting for a really long time so i can understand why this is rated so high i know everybody says it's too early but when you have high rankings like this could this potentially be in that conversation for top 10 sneaker of the year maybe we'll see at the end of the year now when it comes to these two side by side i was definitely interested to see the poll results on this one and this is what everybody said 66 percent of the people chose the thunders and 34 percent of the people chose the lightning this is definitely a very interesting result in my opinion i would love to hear what you guys think down below in the comment section now let's take it back to the office and talk about numbers so now when you look at pricing before the shoe has even come out you're seeing that they're hitting for around 250 to 200 160 bucks in a size 13 and the lightning fours honestly aren't even hitting for that much either but i still have a feeling that in time especially with all the jordan 4 hype these two are going to start to rise a lot more new sneakerheads are coming into the game and starting to love the Jordan 4s especially. And I think they're going to create their own new memories and nostalgia and those different things for the shoe as well. The pairs are going to get beat up. And then three to five years down the line, we're going to see that these sneakers that everybody passed up on are very, very expensive. So me, when it comes to the Thunders or the Lightnings, definitely two shoes that I always feel like I got to double up on. I think when it comes to the Thunder 4s in particular, yes, it's going to be a lot more easy to wear, which is understandable compared to the Lightning. It's just a brighter sneaker. Hard Harder to mix with a lot of different outfits and at the end of the day you are going to see a bigger demand around that just like you saw in the poll results more people like the thunders than they do the lightnings and it's crazy because back in the day the lightnings were more sought after and valuable and desired and all those things than the thunders so it's kind of crazy to see the role switch over the years which it's been <laughs> a lot of years but either way it's very interesting to see the different perspectives of sneakerheads from then to now and then also me experiencing that from then to now as well and seeing everything kind of come in full circle again so for me it was fun to give you guys this review i'm excited that i was able to grab these for retail and give you guys an early look i appreciate you guys as always and if you want to see any more videos make Sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i would never let you down yo before you go i just launched my sneakerhead academy where we got everything on the inside i teach you all the stuff that i learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers scaling real estate you name it we talk about all of it in there and there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways i give away shoes literally way too much honestly but either way i'll see you guys on the inside hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for dj sneakerhead academy and i'll see you guys over there if you made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comment section which video you want to see next. The Gator 6s or the Gator 1? To make what I'm aware today. One of those. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.